Hello guys and welcome to another Michael Bob tutorial. Now currently we are in Internet Explorer. Now, I don't do very much Internet Explorer um, tutorials, but I'm just gonna give you a little roundabout and how to change some settings. So I have my defaults uh, set up and I have a default uh, my I have a custom. Uh, custom uh, default or custom home page. Now, uh, kind of funny. I am awesome.com, and then here it says it's true. I'm going to see the source code for this real quick. Just that's all it says. Source code is it's true. He spends probably a couple. Couple dollars just for a little website like this. <clears throat> so yeah, um, yeah. So I have the basic layout. You're able to customize it, do things like that. Uh, compatibility here. I don't need to. Status bar. I don't need to. Command bar. I don't know. Okay, um, I have it set up as I want, because what I do is I go on to the toolbar here, and I right-click, and you're able to customize what kind of things you have uh, via toolbar. So if you, if you click it and it's unchecked, like there's no check there, you're able to drag things around. Now, customize, you're able to select different things, uh, things like that. <clears throat> so, if you click this little home icon here, it'll bring you to your uh, home. Now, just also a quick heads up, I do have the Internet Explorer 64-bit edition. So, if you have an earlier version, I'll see if I can get a 32-bit version and make a tutorial on that to see if there's any difference. Now, the RSS feed is if you sign up for an RSS, you can uh, actually deliberately uh, make that your uh, home page or make it a certain page and click on it. Read Mail is... Uh, you have to install a little uh, client, and that allows you to read your mail without having to go to your service client and log in. Print. Okay, maybe make sure I like I like this page. I'm gonna print it. So what I want to do is I'm gonna click this, and I'm gonna do uh, print. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to set up which printer I would like. First, let's see if we can add a printer. Let's see if it actually works. Eh. <clears throat> so you're able to print things like that. Uh, page, you're open open a new window. So if we click that, it'll just open a completely new window of the web page, but still keep the old one. Yeah. Uh, you also have a blog with Windows Live, so you're able to blog. So you can translate it from like Chinese or something to uh, English or whatever your thing is. Um, your accelerators, you're pretty much just what these two things work here. Save as you can save the web page. Edit it with notepad. So you're able to change this within settings. I'm going to go in here. Where I'm going to edit this. It's not so true. Exit. Save. So, if we refresh, it's not going to do anything because the server is owned by someone else. But, if we go into our thingamabob here and over here, uh, should be somewhere. File open and should be somewhere here uh, it's there, so we'll find it later on okay so if you go down page and uh, go you have competitive view or compatibility view settings so you're able to in web page is not display right you're able to um, use compatibility view and able to edit or see pages better so that's uh, that uh, you're able to zoom in much uh, you can zoom into a maximum of 400 to where it looks like uh, h6 on my HTML programming tutorial like I said before or I can make it look like h h0 if there was an h0 um, go to the default 100 and uh, you're able to change the text size uh, you're able to change the style uh, I never really used that, so I don't know what that is. Uh, 
that going? Encoding? Uh, I don't know. I've never used it. Uh, carrot process? Uh, Oh, that's cool. Uh, so, so I guess, like, you use your keyboard to move the mouse instead of your actual mouse. Well, that's pretty cool. I should try that this time. <clears throat> uh, properties. You're able to change your properties of the of the web page. And, uh, yeah. Um, this shows you the Coca-Cola website. Okay, so if we go to view source, this is, it enables us to see how the source was created in code. Now, if you watch my HTML series tutorials, then you know what I'm talking about. But for this, all it is text. Now, if we were to go to a real website by clicking on this little thing here, I'd say, uh, Roblox.com, if we were to go to your page and view stores, you see we'll have all this code here. Now, I probably don't understand half of this because I haven't even gotten into it, but, yeah, uh, yeah, so I'm just saying that I'm just taking it step by step here. So if we go into safety, you're able to change it. So say, her, I'm a parent. I'm trying to learn how to do this. We want to how to customize things with Internet Explorer 32. The safety is the same for 32-bit and 64-bit edition of Internet Explorer. So you're able to delete browsing history. So maybe there's like it's too much clutter and it's hacking up your computer. Well, that hacking up like. It's using up a bunch of your computer space. Um, you can just delete the browsing history and give you a little bit more space. Now, in private browsing is so where you can browse in private. No one can, no one can see it, and um, and uh, it does not add to your browsing history. Uh, web web page privacy privacy policy it gives you uh, what uh, what you can, if you can distribute or not. Um, it, it gives you settings, screen filter, and Windows update allows you to update your Windows to a better version. And oh, I lost my last browsing center because Windows crashed, or, or Windows just really wasn't responding anymore, so I had to close it out. Just click open the last thing, and boom, it opens the last window that you currently lost. Pop up blocker, you're allowed to turn it on and off, so. Or if pop-ups are going onto a page, or you think it's going to give you a virus, boom, you can start, turn it on, and you won't have to worry about it. Just delete uh, the virus, or uh, get a scan, virus scanner, and delete the virus. Have it delete the virus. Or you're able to change the settings for um, add-ons. So say there's a toolbar and stuff like that, that tells you a certain thing, like a certain time till a certain event or something like that. You could manage that, turn it on or off, move it to certain places, and stuff like that. Work offline is so you can work offline. You you cannot go to really any web pages because you are working offline. But if you if you click stay offline, then you're not gonna be able to do that. You are not able to access any videos. You're not able to access anything like that. Roblox, stay offline, you're not able to navigate throughout the web page. So, I'm going to have it work offline. Accessibility view, we've already did that, uh, full screen. So, you're able to browse without having this toolbar up here, and you're able to scroll and stuff. Personally, I don't use it much, so if you want to use it, go ahead. Uh, uh, full screen, toolbars is kind of what I was talking about before, those status, favorites. Explore uh, favorites, history, and feeds. Kind of what happens here. Favorites, history, and feeds. Uh, get out there. Uh, suggested sites. I don't really use that much. Developer tools. You're able to see what is in the website here. And, uh, yeah. You're able to. I don't think you. Have, yeah, you can see it. Stuff like that. So, and then we have the internet options we were, where we are able to edit our homepage. So maybe, uh, I don't, I'm tired of imawesome.com. I'm going to change it to roblox.com. And click apply, press OK. Click the little homepage, and boom, we are now taken to our uh, page. Yeah, um, I don't have a... 
I don't have an updated version of it, so I can't watch, but yeah. <clears throat> so that's pretty much all you need to know. If you have any questions, you can PM me or ask in the comments, and I'll be available at all. So uh, thanks for watching this video, uh, comment, rate up, and subscribe!